Hi, uh, welcome to another video. Um, this is the uh, the lovely Agrippa uh, statue that's rotating on the turntable that came with my Rivopoint uh, Pop uh, 3D scanner that I got from uh, Kickstarter. Um, the uh, the statue actually isn't uh, isn't too bad to uh, to scan with the scanner because it's um, quite an opaque uh, flat white surface. Um, but if you've ever tried uh, scanning uh, something else, as I'll show you a bit later, um, sometimes the turntable uh, is rotating a little bit too fast um, for the for the object. Um, at the moment, it takes around. 30 seconds for the turntable to do one full uh, rotation. So if we uh, pick up the turntable and have a look underneath, um, you can see this is the uh, NDP2005 um, turntable. It's uh, 2.4 RPM and it's made by BKL Industries Limited. Um, got no idea whether they're affiliated with Revo Point or not, um, but it's probably uh, an off-the-shelf item. Now, here we've got a, a different object um, sitting on the turntable, and I've got the Revo Point uh, handy scan software um, in action on the computer screen, as you can see. Um, I'm not really sure why Revo Point. Um, supplied a turntable that didn't have a variable speed control. Um, I suppose they probably were doing testing uh, in their uh, studio uh, with near perfect conditions and probably didn't account for that the home user is going to have quite a wide range of uh, variable lighting conditions and uh, background objects. Obviously there's various things you can do to improve your scan quality um, by spraying objects in uh, special uh, special paints and obviously uh, putting a non-reflective uh, black uh, canvas behind um, the object that you're scanning um, but not everybody I don't think every home user has got all these all these items um, and it really would help if the if the turntable didn't move so fast sometimes because what you'll see uh, in this demonstration is that sometimes the uh, scanning software or the scanner is struggling to uh, keep up with the rotation of the of the baby that's on uh, on my scanner At the moment this, this scan doesn't seem to be going uh, too badly uh, but you'll see in a minute that it will um, it's starting to lose track and it will go out of sync and then it will start scanning the, the object again um, and we end up actually with, with two, two babies in this, in this sense uh, Siamese, Siamese twins uh, joined at the head um, which is obviously not, not ideal. So if we look at the, the final output, you can see um, quite clearly what our, what our problem is. We've, um, we've got two, two objects uh, joined into, into one. Um, to combat this uh, problem, um, I've seen a couple of users on the uh, RevoPoint uh, Facebook 
channel have um, attempted different ways to uh, slow the rotation of the turntable down. Um, I've seen that some someone's uh, done a, a, a new set of uh, gears to put inside to uh, alter the gear ratio so that the table rotates at a slower speed. Um, but then there was something that uh, caught my eye where someone had uh, replaced the, uh, the controller um, for the for the motor um, so I thought I'd look into this um, as you can see I've uh, disassembled the the bottom of my turntable uh, that's the the motor that turns the table uh, this is the on off switch and here's the uh, speed controller board unfortunately this uh, speed controller board um, doesn't have any uh, way of uh, making it a variable speed controller board. Um, so what we need to do is to replace this with uh, something else. So first if we uh, remove the, the motor cable and then the on off uh, button cable. So here's the motor driver board that we're going to be using instead. Uh, as you can see on the right we've got the, the variable speed control. Next we've got the on off button. And then at the other end we've got the motor connector. And then next to that we've got another two pin header that's the power connector. So if we look uh, back inside the, uh, the case, you'll see there's uh, some vacant uh, mounting posts inside and this, this got me thinking that maybe I could make a bracket so we could put this uh, speed controller inside. So here's the mounting bracket that I designed in Shape of 3D. Um, as you can see there's a number of holes, uh, four of the holes will just press onto the, the mounting posts inside the turntable and then the driver board will uh, attach to the, the other four mounting posts. So here's the, uh, the finished design that I printed out and now we're just going to attach it to the mounting posts. So I've designed it in such a way that it's quite a, a snug fit. Um, so I might uh, I might glue this to the post, or I might just leave it as is because it's um, it doesn't appear to want to go anywhere. So now we've got the the driver controller board, and obviously the uh, the variable controller um, switch. Uh, we need to. Uh, drill a small hole through the through the side of the case. Um, this is the only uh, real uh, tricky part. So with the hole drilled, you can now see we've got the space for the the knob to uh, to poke through, and it just pokes through enough that you can uh, get the tips of your fingers on it, um, and then you can control the speed. As you can see, the, the holes in the board line up with the, the posts on the bracket. Um, so all we need to do is just put a couple of screws in these to hold it firmly in place. Okay, with that done, the, the first job we need to do is uh, connect the motor cable. Uh, this is pretty simple, you just got to get it around the white the right way. So make sure the red wire is on the right hand side and the blue wire is on the left hand side. Um, and then just put the cable onto the five pins that stick up. When you buy the motor driver board, it comes with this uh, ribbon cable um, that um, 
comes in quite handy because we can just uh, reuse this, uh, this wire to do our connections. So first up, I'm going to connect the uh, blue and the uh, brown wire um, to this switch. Um, it doesn't matter which way, which way around uh, these wires go. And then what we're going to do, we're going to solder them to the contacts on the switch that's on the driver board. So we're just going to chop off the, the connector ends. And I'll show you how that's connected in a moment. Next up, we're going to take the black and the white wire. Um, and this is going to go to our uh, power board. So we're going to connect the white wire onto the pin that's labelled VCC and the, the black wire onto the second pin and the power connector is right next to the uh, drive, drive connector. So the black wire is going onto the left pin and the white wire is going onto the right hand pin. Don't forget to subscribe. So here's all the wires connected up. Um, so we'll start with the on off switch. So we've got the brown and the red wire and that goes all the way to this uh, first switch that's next to the variable uh, controller. And if you look on the edge of the switch, you'll see two contacts where it's soldered to the board. So we need to solder the wires to these two contacts. It doesn't matter which, uh, which way round they go. Um, you just need to get them soldered. And then for the power connector, which is the black and the white wire, um, we're just going to use the power connector from the original board. And the black wire goes onto the left hand uh, contact and then the white wire goes onto the back of the uh, connector. Again, these are just soldered. I didn't want to uh, mess around with having a, a new power connector and trying to create a hole for that on the, the casing. Um, as you can see, the, the white and the black wire are connected to the uh, pin header on the new driver board. So now let's uh, plug in the, the power source. As you can see, uh, both boards are powered and we use our on off switch on the side and our turntable uh, is rotating. Now if we adjust the speed dial, you can see we can slow the turntable right down And if we turn it the back the other way, you can see that we can make the turntable go a lot faster. Um, probably won't need a turntable that can rotate this quickly, but you never know, the, the Revo Point scanner might get quicker um, at scanning. So.
So here we have the turntable uh, fully back together. Now that we've got um, an object system on the turntable, it's easier to see how slow uh, or fast we can, we can make it. Obviously, you can see it's very slow at the moment and then gradually increasing the speed um, up to its fastest setting. Um, if you remember, at the beginning of the video, I said it took around 30 seconds previously to do one rotation. Um, at this speed, uh, it can do one rotation in 15 seconds, uh, which is almost double the speed that it was doing, doing before. Hope you enjoyed the, the video. Um, I've put links to the uh, driver controller board um, and I've also uh, put a link to the, the bracket um, in the description. Um, hope, you, hope you found this useful um, and that you get to, to mod your own, your own turntable. Um, please uh, hit subscribe and uh, like the video if you can please.